This is our first meeting uh, for the AESLD in Washington, D.C. It was chosen with care and attention. It's a, it's a wonderfully vibrant city. The uh, venue is right in the heart of Washington, and we are expecting uh, attendees from over 60 countries uh, at this meeting, and uh, we think it's going to be a perfect place for people to enjoy the meeting, uh, enjoy the time outside the meeting to spend with their colleagues and, uh, and friends and to think about uh, the different aspects of their professional uh, careers uh, in a very social setting. So we're really looking forward to it. I think that a large spectrum of the, the uh, research and practicing uh, membership and non-members will benefit from attending this meeting largely because the contents are so diverse and uh, span everything from updates in clinical care to the latest uh, in scientific advances. We're also putting time and effort into expanding hepatology education uh, beyond physicians and nurses into primary care. And I think a special focus uh, is the young trainees, medical students, residents who are deciding about their future careers. This is the place where they will get a real taste of, of what people are doing and what their careers might be like, uh, spanning again from the science to what it means to save someone's life if they have liver disease. This year's President's Choice Lecture is a real treat. Uh, Bruce Boitler is a friend uh, and colleague at my home institution who happened to win the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology in the year 2011. I think it's going to have broad reach uh, way out of the, the typical realm of hepatology and allow all the attendees to embrace the most recent advances in immunology and think about how it's going to apply uh, to the practice of hepatology. The state-of-the-art lectures at the annual meeting are a highlight and great care goes into the selection of international um, rock stars in their, their chosen field. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the original description of ALPA-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Dr. Perlmutter and his colleagues in his laboratory and around the world have made remarkable advances just in the last several years. And so I'm looking forward to this presentation being a real summary of the state of the art uh, and opening some windows, some real optimism for what the future might hold for this disorder. We look forward to seeing you for the 64th meeting of the AESLD in Washington, D.C. this fall. Science, clinical care, all the cutting edge activity taking place in hepatology from around the world awaits you.